Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Right, this is a, a video for a separate playlist. It's going to be uh, about Arduinos. I'm not going to show you how to program things and all that. I'm just going to basically look at uh, a random selection of boards and things like that. A lot of the boards which I've purchased. Uh, I know a lot of people that are into Arduinos would probably like to see a, a closer up look than what some of the pictures on eBay show. So I'm going to start off this one. This is the uh, Audrino Mega. Now I paid about £8 for this in the UK. It's obviously a knockoff because I think the original was about 30 But these knockoffs, they seem to work quite fine. Let's uh, see if we can brighten this up as well. Mm, going the wrong way, sorry. Mm, yeah, it's not working too well. <laughs> it may come out better on video. Right. So this is the Audrino Mega. And it's a, a 5 volt system. Uh, I mean, they also do the 3.3 volts. So obviously you've got to be careful what <coughs> shields and things like that you use that with. I generally power it by the USB port here. But you can put a separate uh, voltage on here. I believe it's uh, re they recommend 7 to 12 volts on the jack, but it will go up to 20 volts. So if you've got a 12 volt transformer, you could run it on there. I normally just run it on the USB. Right, it has uh, 54 digital input output channels in which. 15 of them can be PWM, pulse width modulation. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I don't know how well this is going to come out. Let's see if that's uh, any better. Right, your 15 PWM signals are over here. And here's the rest of the digitals on this double row over here. It also has 16 analog inputs, so it's quite a versatile little device. It's got 256k of flash for your program, 8k of it is used by the bootloader, but if you're not going to use the bootloader you can actually uh, lose that, but then obviously programming will be by the uh, connector here, so you would need the uh, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, the uh, I thingy connector. I normally have the bootloader in, just plug it into USB port program. Easy as that. Because I'm on board regulator, which is obviously for this jack here. It runs at 16 meg, so it's not terribly fast, but it is very, very powerful. There's a lot of I.O. It's got four UARTs or serial ports, so you can talk to your I squared C devices and things like that via the connections over here. Uh, tap offs you've got a 3.3 volt tap off, a 5 volt tap off, and obviously your ground as well. Uh, for £8, it's a lovely little device to play with. It's got uh, tons of potential. Like I said, there's 54 I/O and 16 analog inputs, so you can actually uh, you could probably run your house on something like this quite happily. Uh, I, I do very silly projects with it, where I'm probably using one, maybe two analog and a few digital outputs, and that's about my limit. I've never got anywhere near utilising half of this. Not even a tenth of it, actually. So for eight pounds, this is a nice module to play around with. If you want to get into Arduinos, it's uh, real easy to actually program the Arduinos. And maybe I'll do something on that later. Uh, you probably saw in one one of my other videos, I used the old uh, Neo Pixels and done some Christmas lights. 
that was all done on this but yeah this is my f my favorite module shall i say the uh, mega uh, they do do smaller modules which are good but then you do get a bit limited in memory size uh, this for the price absolutely superb okay many thanks for watching